Hi, and welcome back to this special edition of Topics with Stephen. I am your host, Stephen M. Gabbard. The story of Matthew Shepard begins on December 1, 1976, when he was born to Judy and Dennis Shepard in Casper, Wyoming. He went to public school in Casper until his junior year of high school when he moved with his family to Saudi Arabia. Matthew had to finish his high school education at the American School in Switzerland because there were no American high schools in Saudi Arabia at that time. In both schools, he was elected by his peers to be a peer counselor. He was easy to talk to, made friends easily, and actively fought for the acceptance of all people. Matthew had a great passion for equality. His experiences abroad fueled his love for travel and gave him the chance to make ma many new friends from around the world. Matthew's college career eventually took him back to Wyoming where he studied political science, foreign relations, and languages at the University of Wyoming in Laramie. On October 6, 1998, Matthew Shepard met Aaron James McKinney and Russell Arthur Henderson in a bar. After Shepard admitted he was gay, they talked him into leaving with them, at which point they drove to a secluded location outside of Laramie, stole his wallet, tied him to a fence, pistol whipped him senseless, and left him for dead in freezing weather. He was discovered 18 hours later, his unconscious body initially mistaken for a scarecrow. Shepard died from his injuries six days later and was promptly made an example of by the right Reverend Fred Phillips of the Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas, who claimed divine retribution had killed Shepard for the sin of being a homosexual. Phelps and his flocks picketed Shepard's funeral on the October 17, 1998, holding signs proclaiming God hates fags and similar slogans, later installing a memorial on the church website which proclaims Matthew Shepard has been in hell for 2,102 days. Eternity minus 2,102 days equals eternity. Shepard's parents have since become vocal gay rights activists. Awful, just awful. Ryan K. Skipper, born April 24, 28, 1981, died March 14, 2007. He was an American man from Polk County, Florida, who was murdered on March 14, 2007 in what authorities declared to be a hate crime. Ryan Skipper's body was discovered on March 15th along a roadside in Winnetta, Florida. Two men were arrested in connection with the crime, William David Brown Jr. and Joseph Bearden. They were 20 and 21 years old at the time of the incident, respectively. The men were charged with first-degree murder and robbery. Bearden was convicted of second-degree murder in addition to four additional counts on February 27, 2009. He was sentenced to life in prison for the murder charge, two 15-year terms and a two 5-year terms, all to be served concurrently on the remaining four charges. Brown claimed he killed Skipper in retaliation for unwanted sexual advances. He was found guilty by a Polk County jury and sentenced to life in prison without parole. Here is the timeline of the of the crime. At 9 p.m. on March 14th, after finishing work in Winter Haven, Florida, Brian Skipper met friend Carl Von Hamann for dinner. They left the restaurant at 10.30 p.m. Ryan Skipper returned home where Von Hamann spoke to him on the telephone at 11 p.m., after which roommate Kelly Evans saw him go into his bedroom. Sometime around midnight, according to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, Skipper met Beard. Bearden, a convicted car thief who also pled no contest to a battery charge in 2004. Sometimes afterwards, Skipper Brown and Bearden drove away in Ryan's car. Fifteen minutes later, Brown and Bearden returned alone. It is not fully known how Skipper met Bearden and Brown, but Skipper's roommate Joyce Fraley claims to have seen Brown at their house on several occasions. Friend Stephanie Strickland also says that Brown knew a previous tenant of Skipper's home and lived two blocks away. Allegedly, Brown had visited the home a few times just weeks before he and Bearden murdered Skipper. Ryan was beaten, stabbed 20 times, and his throat slit. His body was dumped by the side of a road in Winnetta, a small town outside of Winter Haven, and his car was abandoned at Lake Pansy. And the fingerprints of both accused were found inside. 
The murder has caused outrage among gay rights groups who see similarities between Ryan Skipper's murder and that of Matthew Shepard, whom I spoke of earlier. They have also decided the lack of mainstream attention to Skipper's murder, which the group's attribute to claim by Sheriff Grady Judd that according to Bearden and Brown, Skipper was cruising for sex when he met his attackers. The Sheriff's Department has since admitted that the account of the events leading up to the murder that was originally given to the media by Sheriff Grady Judd was based solely on the unsubstantiated statements given by Bearden and Brown upon their arrest. And you can find out more about that at www.createspace.com slash 267940. And you can get um, more information about Matthew Shepard at www.matthewshepard.org slash our story. Two terrible instances. So you may be asking yourself why do we even bother to celebrate celebrate pride and you'll have my final thoughts on that in just a moment stay tuned <laughs>